Hi friends, welcome back to Data Rose Explained, a series where we demystify all the roles that exist within data science and dive deep into what each position is actually like on the job so that you can figure out which role is the best for you. If you're new here, my name is Maggie. You can find weekly coding tutorials, data science career insights, and entrepreneurship content here on my YouTube channel or daily content on my Instagram at Maggie in Data. Today, we're talking about machine learning engineers. Before we dive in, this role is not for you if you prefer to do pure algorithm research, dislike coding, or are looking for minimal collaboration. And let's get started. Machine learning engineers or MLEs are professionals who design, build, and deploy machine learning models into production systems. They focus on the technical side of machine learning, bridging the gap between data science and software engineering. The role of MLEs became prominent as companies started leveraging AI and machine learning for business solutions. The terms really gained traction around 2015 when big tech companies like Google, Amazon, and Facebook began integrating machine learning into their products. This was also the time when frameworks like Tensor Flow and PyTorch made building and deploying ML models much more accessible. Before the role machine learning engineer was created, data scientists were actually the one responsible for both developing machine learning models, deploying them, and cleaning data on top of that. But as the industry matured, it became clear that deploying machine learning models into scalable production environments required a different skill set, one that is much closer to software engineering than data science. And so the machine learning engineer role emerged as a specialized profession. These engineers aren't just building models, they're ensuring those models can run at scale integrate seamlessly with business systems and adapt to new data in real time. Machine learning engineers work closely with data scientists who are responsible for developing and tuning the models. And machine learning engineers focus on making these algorithms scalable, efficient, and ready for real-time data ingestion. For example, if you're a machine learning engineer working at Amazon, one project might involve creating a recommendation engine that suggests products to users based on their browsing and purchase history. Once you have assisted the data scientists responsible for creating the algorithm for their needs, you will then take over their code and integrate this model into the company's app or website, making sure that it updates in real time and can handle millions of users without crashing. You'll be performing these tasks using a cloud service provider such as AWS, creating automated testing for quality assurance purposes and anomaly detection. On a typical day, machine learning engineers might start by reviewing the performance of existing models. For instance, if a fraud detection model at the bank you work for starts flagging too many legitimate transactions, you would investigate and flag the development team for review. You could also spend time collaborating with data scientists to turn their prototypes into production-ready systems. When I worked as a data scientist on the research team at my last startup, this is actually what most of my interactions with the machine learning engineer on the team was about. Me, along with other data scientists, and research scientists would create a network routing analysis model to optimize delivery routes since we work in the logistics industry. Once a small scale testing at a prototype level has been performed and passed, we would then hand over the code to the machine learning engineer into a testing environment that integrates with the rest of the company's system before it is being pushed into production. As a machine learning engineer, you will spend a lot of time debugging, especially for models that are already in production. The responsibility typically falls on this role to figure out when an issue arises, if it is with the training data or if the problem is with model architecture or the deployment pipeline and then the relevant parties can be involved to solve the problem together. Machine learning engineers use a wide range of tech stack with a lot of them overlapping with those used by data scientists. Python is a must have skill for machine learning engineers with libraries like TensorFlow and PyTorch being industry standards for building models. For data processing, you often rely on tools like NumPy and Spark. You will need extensive experience with cloud platforms like AWS, Google Cloud, especially for deploying models at scale. And we can't forget about the version control systems like Git, which are crucial for testing and collaborating with teams, 
and tracking changes to your code. Last but not least, ML ops or machine learning operations is becoming increasingly important. This involves setting up automated pipeline for training, testing, and deploying models ensuring that they stay up to date and perform well over time. There are three groups of roles that this role interact with on the daily. First, of course, is data scientists, like we talked about before. A data scientist might develop a model to predict customer churn, and you would focus on scaling that model so it can handle millions of users across multiple regions. And next in the production pipeline, you will work closely with software engineers to integrate machine learning systems into existing applications and act as the expert for machine learning for the software engineering team. For instance, if you're building a voice recognition feature for a smart home device, you would partner with software engineers to ensure that the model works seamlessly with the device hardware and operating system. Finally, you interact with business stakeholders, such as product managers, to understand their needs and translate them into technical solutions. However, this functionality is typically less relied on machine learning engineers as this role is more back-end focused on scalability and less focused on front-end user interactions. Machine learning engineers are very well-paid professionals, but to become one, you would need a master's degree for entry-level roles. In the US and Canada, machine learning engineers typically earn between $130,000 to $180,000 annually for entry-level roles, with salaries at big tech companies often exceeding $200,000. The field offers excellent growth opportunities, whether you want to deepen your technical expertise or move into a management role. You can start as an individual contributor, focus on continuously upskilling in order to master advanced machine learning data processing techniques, and start to tackle increasingly complex projects. Alternatively, this role can be transitioned into leadership roles overseeing teams of engineers and shaping the company's production pipeline strategy. Most machine learning engineers on the market today hold a master's degree in a field like computer science, mathematics, or data science. As it is a highly specialized field, Machine learning engineer roles are not very entry-level friendly and often require years of experience working with machine learning models before you can step into this role. Many machine learning engineers today come from data scientist background or software engineer background with additional training. I've gathered a few really good resources to help you get started towards your goal if you want to become a machine learning engineer. The Machine Learning Specialization by Andrew Un on Coursera is a must take for machine learning engineers. This course is highly regarded and covers the basic of machine learning, including regression, classification, and clustering techniques. It is important to understand the ins and outs of the models in order to build out the production pipeline. You can also benefit from ML ops and data engineering knowledge IBM Data Engineering Professional Certificate is a great place to start learning the most up-to-date practical skills for data engineers that is also beginner-friendly. By the end of this certificate, you will have developed working knowledge of NoSQL and big data using MongoDB, Cassandra, Clauden, Hadoop, and Apache Spark, and you would have implemented ETL and data pipelines with Bash, Airflow, and Kafka, which are all commonly used by machine learning engineers. Becoming a machine learning engineer can take years of effort but it is definitely a worthwhile journey if you enjoy coding and love building systems that directly impact users at scale. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of what it means to be a machine learning engineer. And if you learned something new, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as it will really help my channel out a lot. Let me know in the comment section below which data roads you would like me to cover next. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.